We have multiple crews on the scene following this from every angle. Let's go now to ABC 10's Van 2, who is live downtown tonight. Van, bring us up to speed. What's the latest there? Well, Chris, after this terrifying night, now the agonizing wait for answers. We are here where family members and even survivors with visible injuries have shown up here at the crime scene where it's taped off uh, at the corner of 10th and L Street. I want to show you, looking down K Street, you can see evidence markers littering the streets. I did speak to one uh, security guard who was working overnight, and he said he had a vantage point where he was able to count these evidence markers, and he counted 46. So at least 46 sh uh, sh shell casings can be found in this immediate area. And if you pan up from those uh, evidence markers, you can also see large windows uh, blown out by that gunfire very terrifying scene here as police are processing what they say is a very complicated crime scene and over here by the police tape we have seen a growing a small but growing memorial uh, for the victims here some church members have left some flowers remembering those that's what happens when you don't get killed by a cop in the community <laughs> when you're in the community and you don't get killed by a cop that's what you get now, there's a video circulating of a fight outside of the club that led to this. I'm not going to show that fight. Very brutal fight. Um, but you can go on Twitter and just easily see it. Um, and from the looks of that, I was like, dang, this, these on burritos, man. These on burritos. And then, you know, just from doing many videos on Sacramento, knowing the demographic... I was like, this is on Brito event, man. He's on Brito mass shooting, man. Boy, was I wrong. These are two of the brothers that were killed there. 38 and 29. Sergio Harris and Devazia Turner. Two of the six that were killed. Still working on pictures for the rest of them. Two of the six that were killed. Brothers, man. This is his wife. And his mother. The moment they found out. There'll be no calls for the shooters. There'll be no calls for just... The, the shooters are still on the loose. It was multiple shooters. They've recovered one gun, but... No one's in custody. And we talk about this all the time here at this channel. Name me one. Mass shooting done by a glacier glider where he's not in custody or dead. He's just out there. They're like, yeah, glider shot up a bunch of stuff today. and uh, We don't even know who did it. We, don't even, we know it was a glider, but we don't know where he at. We don't know what he did. Two days, three days, four days, go by. And it's not, I, I've never seen that. If you have, please. Um, tell us in the comment section and um, drop the links too. This girl was also killed. Look at that baby. She's a baby. When you watch that fight, go to Twitter and watch that fight or anywhere. I thought this was on burritos, man. Right now to Luke Clary, who is standing by. Luke, I know you are uh, near several people who are, are sharing that they are, are wondering if their uh, son is a victim in this case. Or even talk to us about anything. They're telling us, oh, we can't talk about it. We can't do this. We can't do that. No, you need to let us know something. I'm not out here just to be standing out here to be nosy. I have a child that's laying out there. And I want, to, I want some answers. I just want some answers from somebody. And if they can do that, I appreciate it. You know, this is it's a lot. It's a lot on our family. 
You've been here for hours. You said We've been here for hours. You know, and we still haven't heard anything yet. And you don't plan to leave? I'm not going anywhere until they let me know something. They got to let us know something. You know, and I just wish they would come on with it. And they saying that we got to wait for the corner. Corner my foot. You need to let me know what's going on. You know, I'm a concerned parent like other people's concerned parents out here about their children. You know, and I just want to know what's going on. Pamela, how did you, um, how did you find out or how did you learn that you're... you're... Just got a phone call. I see. Not from police, though. No, 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 no. And, and you're in your certain or you, I, just, you want to know? I just need to know for sure. Confirm it. You know, don't have us sitting out here just waiting. Can you tell us about your son that you're looking for answers about right now? My son was a very violacious young man. <laughs> man, my man. You know who this is. This is, um, um, what's the kid, the guy's name, um, <laughs> This is the brother of Stefan Clark. Um, the, and Stefan Clark, if you remember a few years ago, he was the one who was um, he was breaking out car windows on his block and kicking in um, sliding glass doors in his neighbors in his neighbors um, houses. So he had been doing that for several minutes and a bunch of calls come into 911. This guy's outside breaking out all the car windows on the block and kicking in people's glass doors. Cops show up. There's a brief um, interaction. He runs into the backyard of his grandmother's house. Now, the cops don't know that this is his grandmother's house. And he starts, you know, trying to get in. And he pulls out his cell phone. I think to call the grandmother or something. I don't know. And all this is happening in the pitch dark. And the the black officer pulled out of his um service pistol and fired and shot Stefan and killed him. And sisters went crazy. And they started a big movement about, you know, this is before the woke apocalypse and were protesting and tearing up the streets over there in Sacramento. And what ended up happening is that the guy ended up having a um a, <laughs> a crouching tiger baby mama. And both of them, him and the crouching tiger baby mama, were online making disparaging remarks about sisters, especially the darker toned ones. I mean, wild stuff. So then sisters made an about face and you know said okay he's talking he was talking crap about us and his non sister baby mama talking crap about us on Twitter forget them then it was this big thing like oh why y'all not supporting him because he's because he don't have a um because his his um girl his baby mama not a sister and it was just a big hubbub about that um, and this is the guy's brother who was acting really crazy at the time, was very eccentric and very like very, very wild. But he's he he's he's I don't know if he's on meds or what happened, but he he's really um made an about face and he's very um very, 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 very cogent and well spoken and clear minded now. But even he couldn't <laughs> Even he couldn't um, avoid laughing at that mom. Mom said, violacious. That's a Freudian slip. She meant to say vivacious, but she she couldn't, she couldn't, she she she, she, she Freudian through Vlad and it violent in there. My son's very violacious. You know, don't have us sitting out here just waiting. Can you tell us about your son that you're looking for answers about right now? My son was a very violacious young man. You know, fun to be around, like the party, have fun, smiling all the time. You know, don't bother people. And for this to happen, 
it's crazy. It's crazy. And I, I, I'm just to the point right now, I don't know what to do. I don't even think this is real. I feel like it's a dream. You know, so I just wish somebody would let us know something. Because I'm, I'm about ready to just collapse. What? That's, that's insane. Because it doesn't appear that she's ready to collapse. It doesn't appear that she just found out that her son was gunned down in the street and is actually still laying there in part of the crime scene. It just doesn't seem like that. And, and listen, man, sisters, your ability to hold it together is absolutely amazing, man. I'm about ready to just collapse. How behind this, 2.30 this morning. Wow. So basically since it happened, pretty wow, much. No they're not giving us any information. They're not telling my husband nothing. They're not telling my other kids nothing. They're not telling any of the other family members anything. It's just, you just have to wait. Well, we've been waiting for like, what, five hours? And we still haven't heard anything yet? Come on, really? You said he kind of had a bad feeling last night, or you talked to your son. And well, you know... Mothers always know when something's not right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just felt like it's the first of the month. People out. People get crazy. It's the first of the month. We still doing, like, we still partying with our welfare checks and whatnot. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up, cash your check and give up. Yeah. And this is not me saying this. This is a mother from their community saying this. You know, it's the first of the month, and so everybody out partying. And there's nothing wrong with what she's saying. The fact that it's true is just astounding. In California, about to get reparations. Y'all about to, yeah, the, 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 allegedly, they got a committee meeting on planning on talking about doing a survey to try to see if reparations. <laughs> so you ain't getting no reparations, but let's just say that you did. California's supposed to be doing something about with that. Y'all still get when y'all get y'all government check gov, government assistance checks in the mail. Y'all go hit the club. It's gonna be violence that night because all the sun people gonna be at the club. I just felt like it's the first of the month. People out, people get crazy, but when they're in the club, you know what I'm saying, they're having fun. This stuff happened outside the club, you know what I'm saying? And this stuff has to stop. It really has to stop. They got to get some control over this. People can't go to a club and have fun without worrying about coming out and not being, a, not being alive the next day. My son has a wife, he has children, all that, and all that's gone. Because somebody wanted to pull out a gun and just spray everybody up that's coming out the club. That's not right. Picking them off like they're birds or something. You know what I'm saying? It's awful. It's awful. How many kids does he have? He has two daughters. I have two granddaughters that are not going to see their father anymore because of this. How old are they? I can't even think right now. They're, they're little kids. Hey, little kids. Yeah, I knew him. He was a good guy. Um, we partied together. <laughs> um, he was loved and light. He was loved by the community, loved by so many people, not just me, but by the city, actually. He was just a great guy, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, every time I seen him, he showed me love, you know, every time, you know. Um, it just hurts, you know, that she hasn't had any answers. She hasn't, nobody's spoken to her. Nobody's given her. She's been here since 2.30 in the morning. She's been so cold that somebody gave her a jacket, you know. That's how cold it was since last night. And, you know, 
even though I lost my brother Stefan to police, I also lost a brother Demarcus to community violence. And until we get together and stop this community violence, until we get together and stop killing each other, then there's no way we can expect police to quit killing us. You know, there's no way we could fight this system. I tried, man. I was gonna just let that go, man. Um, the crazy part about it is that most people don't know that. One of the Clark brothers was killed by a son, man, in the community. And the other one was killed by a cop while he was, I don't know what that cop was supposed to do, whatever, but <laughs> I, listen, man, you're breaking out all the car windows on your block, just going down the block. I think his brother who was killed by police is lucky that a homeowner didn't come out and shoot him. But listen, I, I let's let's move on. And you know, and even though I lost my brother Stefan to police, I also lost a brother Demarcus to community violence. And until we get together and stop this community violence, until we get together and stop killing each other, then there's no way we can expect police to quit killing us. You know, there's no way we could fight this system if we're still fighting each other. You know, that's why it's just senseless. You know, you know. I, I never thought I'd, I would be somewhere uh, in my city, in my home, on the side of a mass shooting with mass casualties with a mother who hasn't gotten any answers and been sitting here since the club ended, freezing, freezing literally. You know, this... I'm... I'm uh, I don't know. I'm I'm speechless. I'm, I'm just devastated. Yeah, I, yeah I just don't know what to say. Honestly. I'm very devastated behind this. 